Hi, I'm Anton from Anton's Mindstorms Hacks with advanced building and programming techniques for LEGO Mindstorms. In this video, I want to take you through the design process of the lizard that I built. Maybe you can learn some building techniques and the process could be interesting to starting builders. There we go. I started the process in studio where I first placed the most important parts in relation to each other in um, some kind of virtual space so nothing is really connected well but I was sure that the gearing would work and the, I had a rough idea about how to uh, connect the motors here and how everything would fit together on the turntables and this was my first ID for legs which turned out not to be working at all but hey that's lego you learn by building and doing next i sketched over the rendered studio model to get a feel of the paneling and shape and then it was building time i recorded um, a time lapse uh, movie here of um, the build as you can see it's relatively fast and uh, linear because of the studio um, thing that I had done before um, I really quickly had the first walking model and after the first walking model it was um, a matter of a lot of fine-tuning because the feet are um, a four link mechanism they take a lot of tuning because there are like four variables that you can change that change the movement of the feet again um, and i had to find a good combination of stride length and stride height that would uh, still work while the body was bent because i had some trouble that the feet that moved forward were um, colliding with the body when the body was uh, bent over on one side. Right here I'm um, finishing the head so I'm switching from the feet to the head to um, do something different in the, in the meantime. As you can see uh, there is a lot of character in the head so it takes quite some trial and error to find a head that is um, lizard-like. Here I'm experimenting with uh, another mechanism that would turn the head when it turns the body. Now it's time to work on the tail. Um, the tail is nothing new. It's tail like this has been around since the NXT crocodile um, except that I'm giving it an extra swing here with the uh, bending of the body more work on the neck here thinking about the paneling that would work as it turned out um, I used the, uh, the the forest harvesting machine and the uh, Mindstorms retail set for uh, building this lizard uh, it, and it was a robot remix and front of the box of the forest harvesting machine looked really green but it turns out there weren't very much green parts in the box it was mostly white and black and with a very few green details so I'm struggling here to give the lizard an overall green look like lizard should look um, with the limited green parts from the harvesting machine box more walking trials to see if the mechanism is solid so here was uh, one of the first movies of a solid walk with an almost finished lizard here it walks faster finishing is almost done uh, after this version I still continue to work on the tail I also um, made uh, a display stand so you could uh, just watch the lizard walk without um, 
having without the need for a, a big area oh yeah here you can see um, an even later version with the, the, the yellow eyes and the red spine thing um, so I used the EV3 swords as some kind of spine to give it a bit of a dragon like look after this version I still improved the feet to make the mechanism even more solid. I saw it fall apart on a Lego fair. And then I proceeded to uh, making building instructions. So please subscribe, uh, I hope you liked my video. I also made videos about the building instructions and the programming of this lizard. So uh, you might like those too. Thanks for watching, bye bye!